hole for the water bag. You remember that last week I said that um, instead of paying the penalty for not for the projects that have been delayed, uh, where we had signed take or pay contracts. So we signed take or pay contracts, and by now we're supposed to be using the coal. And so um, the take or pay contracts, we have to either take the coal now or pay for it. And what we have decided to do is instead of paying the penalty, we will take the coal and stockpile it. And so where we have problems or risks of uh, no supply, for example at Henrina, uh, we will use that coal. Now, Enrina requires a certain quality of coal, uh, which means that you would have to either wash it or uh, blend it with coal from somewhere else to bring it to the quality that is required at Enrina. But we will not incur the penalties. We will, we will move very far away from incurring penalties because the penalties are just a dead weight loss. Uh, it is better than to to pay penalties of eight, it is better to build uh, stockpile areas and buy more land for stockpiles uh, at a cost of two to three billion than pay penalties of eight billion. Because at the end of the whole saga, um, you will have assets of two to three billion. If you pay penalties, you won't have assets. And that is what we were saying about penalties last week. Um, as far as Henrina is concerned, um, we are still in negotiations with uh, Optimum. Their contract comes to an end on the 30th of November. Well, it's not a contract really, it's a, the period uh, during which they had agreed to supply us at uh, 1 rand 50, so 150 rand a ton. Beyond the 30th of November, our position remains that uh, Optimum is under contractual obligation to supply us with coal at 150. And we maintain that we are legally entitled to penalties that they must pay us of 2 billion. And so our position has not changed. And we await to see how they will respond to that uh, by the 30th of uh, November. We won't be drawn into speculation about how much it's going to cost to deliver the coal. However, having said that, I can tell you that um, they, for one month, uh, Optimum did not deliver coal to Henrina. Um, I, I'm not sure and I do not know if they we're hoping or anticipated that load shedding would increase with Henrina without coal and not operating. We were able to bring coal to Henrina at less than 500 rand. In fact, at less than 480 rand. But uh, as far as Henrina is concerned, we have a contracted price of 150 with Glencore and um, to the extent that they are not able to deliver on their side of the contract, they will cause us damages that we can recover from a court, a competent court. And so um, to the extent that we have to buy coal elsewhere because they are not delivering it at above 150, doesn't matter how much the amount is, we will have a damages claim against them. Thank mm -hmm. you.